But permit me to say, Ghana is in the fourth industrial revolution. And we want to leave. You know, in the first industrial revolution of the steam engine, Africa was not part of it. The second industrial revolution came, electricity, where are the fringes? The third industrial revolution of the computer, we use them, but they're not building. Now we are in the fourth industrial revolution. Time of the artificial intelligence, robotics. Time when we can combine biological and the physical, the electrical. Bring about innovation that the world has never seen. The time of YouTube, where you can go in and see what the people have done and do yours. This is the moment of Africa. So Ghana has finally said bye-bye to paper textbooks in any form or shape as they've launched the Ghana Smart Schools project. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor and pleasure to declare the Ghana Smart Schools project duly launched. With this project, the country is going to equip students under the free senior high school policy with essential technological skills, aligning with the government's commitment to advancing education through technology. The unveil as it comes out. Wow. And now, Mr. President, for one tablet, one student, I invite you to officially outdoor the first tablet to be given to our school children. And so, ladies and gentlemen, it is the state of the art tablet equipped with every modern device and software for teaching and learning. According to His Excellency, President Nado Dankwa Ekufuado, the country is going to convert some of its old schools into smart schools, as well as building about 100 new smart senior high schools across the country within the next two years. Indeed, the enhanced free SHS school will be environmentally friendly, boost academic performance, fitted with interactive displays, interactive learning, and increased productivity, which is what has given birth to the Ghana Smart Schools project. The project seeks to deepen the application of IT in teaching and learning at the second cycle level. It will ultimately enhance the performance of students and prepare them better for higher learning and the competitive careers in future. The other component of the Ghana Smart School project is the provision of modernized infrastructure. Government intends to build 100 smart schools across the country. The first 30 of these will be completed this year and the remaining 70 expected to be completed in the next two years. And for the avoidance of doubt, it is planned that the 100 smart schools will be located in the following cities and towns in all eight, 16 regions. Eastern region, Kufuridia, Akropong, Chebi and Abetifi, Greater Accra region, Atimota, Ajingano, Amasamai, and Medina. Volta region, Ho, Oti region, Dambai, Ahafu region, Mem, Blon East region, Techiman and Nkuranza, Northeast region, Nalerigo, Western North region, Enchi, Central region, Salt Pond and Kasua, Western region, Takrade, Takwa, and Wasa Ekropol, Bono region, Sunyane, Fiapre, Ashanti region, Tepa, Jabeng, Mampo, and Kumase, Bantama, Upper East region, 
Bogotanga and Binduri, Upper West Region, Wa, Northern Region, Karaga, Tamale, and Yendi, and Savannah Region, Damango. These small school buildings will be fitted with solar panels as we seek to promote new and environmentally sustainable energy. In effect, these small schools will be off the national electricity grid. They will also have They will also have digitalized infrastructure to advance teaching and learning. The physical infrastructure takes cognizance of our unique climatic conditions and will create a condu conducive atmosphere for learning. The schools will represent a new urban landmark for urban and rural land use and planning. There will be modern, iconic facilities depicting the collective resolve of a people for transformative and futuristic education. So it is under this same Ghana Smart School project that 1.3 million educational tablets is going to be distributed to students in senior high schools in the country. That is one student, one tablet. These tablets are fitted with digital content to aid the students with research, teaching and learning. So these tablets are going to replace textbooks. The Ghanaian Minister responsible for Education, Dr. Yaose Educhu, also said something wonderful about the achievements of Ghana's educational system so far during the official launch of the Ghana Smart Schools project. But before we hear from Honorable, please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for your support. Now, let's enjoy it together. I'm excited to be here today. Uh, it's rare to have the president and the vice president at your ministry's event. <laughs> and today, history has been made. I see my boss, the president. I see my boss, the vice president. And that makes you humble when you are speaking. So, Mr. President, with your permission, I'll continue with my address. You know, most of you know that I like the S temple, but not when you're president and vice president. Because you can't miss anything that you have prepared. So I'll stick to the scripts. But permit me to say, Ghana is in the fourth industrial revolution. And we want to leave. You know, in the first industrial revolution of the steam engine, Africa was not part of it. The second industrial revolution came, electricity, where are the fringes? The third industrial revolution of the computer, we use them but they're not building. Now we are in the fourth industrial revolution. Time of the artificial intelligence, robotics. Time when we can combine biological and the physical, the electrical. Bring about innovation that the world has never seen. The time of YouTube where you can go in and see what the people have done and do yours. This is the moment of Africa. And this is Ghana's moment. And I'm super excited that we get to embark on this after proving ourselves to secondary education from a little over 800,000. And now in one year, we have 504,000 students enrolled in our senior high schools first year. From a little over 800,000, today we have 1.4 million students enrolled in our secondary schools. And you know, for any government that could have an achievement in itself, I've increased enrollment from 800,000 to 1.4 million, just clap for me. But that is not, I didn't say clap for me. I have I said, for any government, they will have told you to clap for them. But another Dan Kwaku Fuadu, the visionary president, was not satisfied. He taxed us with the responsibility to improve the quality of education. So I always say our party is the party of Manifesto Plus. We do things that we did not promise in our manifesto. <laughs> not a week passes by without the ministry receiving a delegation of chiefs 
asking for a STEM school. The STEM agenda is moving and it's moving fast. But I also know digitalization and what the vice president has championed with the permission of the president. When you look at digitalizing the address system, mobile money will enter operability. And I cannot even come because every day we turn around and he's launching something. I call him the techno politician. The technocrat politician who is digitalizing everything under the visionary president of our time. Things are getting exciting. Many of us are familiar with a quote from the celebrated American civil rights leader Malcolm X, who said, Education, and I quote, Education is the passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it. Unquote. I'm also tempted to quote another American, Benjamin Franklin, who said, and I quote, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Unquote. After improving access to secondary education, we are now enhancing the quality so that we create a pipeline of the next generation of Ghanaians from our kindergarten, through primary schools, through our junior high schools, to our senior high schools. And when I talk about Manifesto Plus, we did not promise in our manifesto that we're going to transform kindergartens and transform primary schools and make them centers of excellence. But it's happening under the leadership of the president. <laughs> but today we are here to talk about digitalization in our high schools. See, since assuming power in 2017, this government prioritized education and proceeded to demonstrate this commitment. When it was said free senior high school was impossible, the government went ahead to prove otherwise. And today, some 5.7 million children who are our own children, brothers and sisters, have benefited from the program. We have produced some impressive outcomes and results from the West Africa Senior High School Certificate Examination. And recently I heard somebody saying that uh, Ghana is no longer part of WASI, but we still top WASI. <laughs> Last year. Last year, two out of three high-performing WASI students in West Africa were from Ghana. And the two, and the two came from a very new school in Bono, St. James High School and Seminary. This year, the three topmost students in West Africa all came from Ghana. And once again, two of them came from St. James. and one from our own Laboni Senior High School. This is the legacy of Nana Adodankwa Ekufuadu-led government. But that is not all. Across the country, we have enhanced the state of infrastructure on various campuses and provided more textbooks and other teaching and learning materials. We have taken steps to enrich the curriculum as we chart a new pathway to future high school education. We have provided computers to schools and provided free Wi-Fi to, prepare, to propel their utilization. We have worked with teachers through their unions to procure laptops for them to aid their work. We have also boosted the reward system with an enhanced Best Teacher Award scheme. This government will continue to ensure the education sector continue to receive to receive its part of the government's investment. Mr. Chairman, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, time is taken so far for Ghana and the rest of the world to achieve the target set in the sustainable development goals. And for us in the education arena, we have only the next six years to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education 
and produce lifelong learning opportunities for all. And I'm happy to report that we are on course in achieving this target, achieving inclusive and quality education for all. Ray affirms the belief that education is one of the most powerful and proven vehicles for socioeconomic transformation. We will witness within the next few weeks and months the conversion on some of, um, uh, some of our existing buildings in our high schools into a smart learning environment. Construction is about to begin in earnest the development of new smart schools across the country. There will be an establishment of aftercare centers in campuses to attend to a computer that may need repair. We are setting up a 24-hour call center to resolve all consumer issues, including complaints from our students who are going to use these devices. The future of our education system is what we are witnessing today, a live participation from our schools across the country, the first of its kind at this Ministry of Education. The future is here. We are actually embark on an agenda for the transformation of Ghana. The future of Ghana couldn't be brighter than what we are seeing. We are on a trajectory to a great future. And I can assure you, under an Dan Kokufuado, a foundation has been laid. We are building on it. The future is here today. Ghana will be a great participant in the fourth industrial revolution. We will win, and the winning begins from today. Education changes the fortunes of countries. No country has transformed itself without improving its education system. We have begun something that 10 years, 20 years from now, the world will talk about. The world will come and see Ghana, see the innovation that brought about the transformation. Historians, Mr. President, will be kind to you. You have done the impossible in the COVID era. I did an interview with a reporter. Talk about all the things that we have done. The new junior high schools we are building. The community schools we are building. The, all the innovations that we've done including ensuring that teacher education is four years instead of three, which means it's costing the country more. And the reporter looked at me and said, so you are doing all this in the midst of economic challenges, and I said, that is what a visionary president does. <laughs> he had to find an antidote to the economic challenges by laying a strong and robust foundation for the economy, that this economy will stand the test of time. This is the foundation that we build upon in the years to come. Mr. President, Your Excellency, Mr. Vice President, I'm so grateful for this opportunity of being Ghana's Minister for Education at this time in our history. I'm grateful. Thank you all, and God bless you all. So, that is all for today's episode. Let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this in the comment section below. My name always remains Sheriff Haruna. Have a joyful life and see you in our next video. Macrow.